Hey Dre, I watch a lot of your videos. So how come whenever you're in the gym, there's nobody else in the gym? I'm gonna tell you why, and it's probably not why you think. What's good everybody? Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. I get this question often from people who watch a lot of the content that I put out. You know, I put out thousands of videos on this, on this website. And people say, well, why is the gym always empty? And a lot of times when people ask that, people have these theories on why the gym is empty. Some people ask me, and I'm going to address all of these theories right now in this video one time and for the last time. Some people ask me, yo, do you own the gym that you work out in? The answer to that is no, I do not own the gym. People say, do you rent out the gym so that nobody else can use it? No. People say, sometimes people say something like, well, maybe Dre goes to the gym really late at night or really early in the morning so that he gets there when nobody else happens to be there at that time. Listen to this, all right? Any chump could buy an alarm clock and everybody knows how they work. So that's not it either. Here's the thing. When, I'm, when you get into training, working out, any type of work, and this could be whether you're an athlete, we're talking about physical exertion. This could be if you're a, a writer, if you're a journalist at a newspaper and your brain just gets tired because you're tired of writing and researching and reading about stories or talking to people that you need to talk to in order to put this story out because you got a deadline or you want to get on the cover of the paper or you want to get a feature in the next magazine article. Anything that you do, you're going to face fatigue at some point. And I'm just going to use a, a training analogy since I'm an athlete. When you work out, usually it's the third day that really kicks your ass the most. And when I say the third day, I don't necessarily mean Wednesday. The week starts on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but just follow my logic here. Let's say you hadn't worked out, you went on vacation, right? So you came back from your va vacation, and the first day is Monday, you go back to the gym. Let's say you got home on Saturday, you take Sunday off. Monday, you go back to the gym to work out. You go to hoop, you go lift some weights, you go do some running, some agility drills, some plyos, whatever it is you're working on. That first day, you feel great because it's your first day back. You got all this energy. There's no soreness whatsoever. And that first night, you're like, damn, if your body starts to feel it while you sleep. Like, damn, I haven't worked out in a while. I can feel it. That next morning, you feel a little bit sore. But you did. You know, you worked out. It was your first day back. you like, I knew I was going to feel sore. It's cool. So that second day, you go into the gym. Second day, you go, you do your workout thing. You feel just a little bit slower, but it's still the second day. You still have that new, that quote-unquote newness feeling. Like, any of you, if you ever go away, you go out of town for a while. If you got a car, you go out of town for a while and you drive a rental car while you're out of town, let's say for a week, and you drive that rental for a week. When you come home, that first couple of days driving your, your normal car, the car that you own again, it feels new. Like, it feels like a brand new car. You're like, damn, I ain't driving this car in a minute. You got to get used to where all the controls are again. You got to get used to how, the, how it speeds up, how it accelerates, how it slows down, how soon you need to hit the brakes where the angles are for looking out the rear view mirrors. It feels new again, even though you've driven the car a thousand times, because you got used to that rental car over that week that you were gone. So the second day still feels kind of new, because it feels new, because it's been a while, it's only two days. That third day, that third day, everything's kind of back to a normal routine, but you feel kind of kind of different. You feel kind of like shit, you're tired. You worked hard those first two days, your body's not conditioned to work hard, every single day because you've been on vacation or you've been doing something other than what you are doing the last two days and that third day and again when i say third day this is all kind of this is an analogy it doesn't necessarily mean day three one two three of your exercise or day three of your work or day three on the job or day three at your business this could be the third day quote unquote is what i'm saying that's why i got it in quotation marks up there in the video description that third day is the day when most people, the average person, which is most people, the majority of people, they like, damn, I'm tired. I worked hard these two days. My body's not used to this. My mind is not used to this. I'm not, I don't have a mental focus to keep going for three days straight because I'm not used to going three days straight. You know what they do on that third day? They take it extremely easy. They go extremely light or they don't go at all. That third day is the day that the people who are going to get ahead, the people who are going to reach the higher levels of whatever they're doing, whether you play a sport or you do anything else. And even if you are playing a sport now and your life turns out 10 years from now that you're not playing a sport anymore, it's the principles. It's the principles 
and the, the character that you build in doing these things, the habits which become your character, those things, the habits become the reputation, the reputation becomes your character, you build that in whatever you're doing. So if you're a basketball player now and you're 15, and when you turn 25, you're not gonna be playing basketball anymore, the principles that you built, principles you develop and ingrained in yourself playing ball are gonna show off 10 years from now. That third day, if you show up the third day and work the same way you did the first two days, you separated yourself just a little bit from the people who didn't show up on the third day. So understand this for you 15 year olds, when you're 25, over a 10 year span, you add up enough of those third days, over a 10 year span, you created a huge gap between you and the people who don't put in work on that third day. So any of you wondering why when I go to the gym, there's nobody else in the gym, it's because of the third day. And I'm not saying there's nobody else in town who works hard. I'm not saying there's nobody else in town who has character or has a strong reputation or has the principles to keep working when they feel tired. I just know that when it comes to a battle of longevity, when it comes to a battle of persistence, when it comes to a battle of doing something over and over and over again until somebody don't feel like doing it no more, that's my only talent. I'm gonna win that battle. I'm gonna win that competition, whether that be playing basketball, whether that be writing some blog posts, whether that be posting YouTube videos, whatever you want to call it. If I get into it and I'm in, I'm all in, I'm going to win that battle. So one of you wants to know why there's nobody else in the gym when I'm in the gym, why you don't hear no other basketballs bouncing when I'm doing my workouts. There's other courts in the gym. There's plenty of space. It's just that third day. Enough third days over a long period of time. And then you get that number you see down there next to my name. I don't control it, I just do what I'm supposed to do. What everybody else is doing ain't my business. But now you know. Work on your game, DreAllDay.com. Hey, somebody sign that kid, Dre Baldwin, man. I swear to God, man, he need to be on the team, man. That nigga be ballin', man, I be ballin' too, I swear. Man, I feel like Dre Ball, Dre 